Greetings, everyone. I am James P. Madonna of Megalife 21, and I am proud to say that we are here at the one and only Patterson Historic Museum at 2 Market Street, Patterson, New Jersey, right next to America's newest national park. And I'm here with the director of this museum, the one and only uh, Giacomo Di Stefano. How are you, sir? I'm great. Welcome back, James. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, now, uh, Giacomo. Right now, we're in uh, a large exhibit room. Um, yes, this is our Anna Gallery. This is where we do all our rotating exhibits. Mm -hmm. The Patterson Museum is always changing, but nothing changes more than this very room. We either have history exhibits, art exhibits, and we've even had weddings. Weddings? <laughs> wow. Yeah, but we, we do, this also serves as a community center. Okay. We, we try to do many things because we're really a community based museum. Okay, and it's very. Um, um, ample in size, of course, and I've seen beautiful artwork here. Actually, not that's more beautiful than this. Actually, this is the week of the young child. This, this exhibit's here for about a week and a half, and it's, right. and it's, it's, it's artwork by the three and four-year-olds from actually Michael's wow. Energy Factory. So these kids, you know, we may not see things the way they do, but they teach us how to see again. Well, I bet uh, a great deal of the uh, artwork, if you want to call it that, of, of children at young, it represents how they see their families. One kid, Very he revealed. said, this is my dad dancing on the porch. Another kid, if you read about the description, says, this is a robot eating cereal, which I think is brilliant, because as adults, and, and since we have so much learning, we would never be able to open up our minds to these concepts. Oh yeah, well kids, uh, uh, um, uh, kids express themselves uh, very uh, honestly. There's no apprehension when a child tells you something. It's, it's pure from them. It's, it's 100%, and, and if, a, if a child psychologist wanted to get an idea of what's going on at home, I bet looking at the artwork from that child would be an excellent way. Of course, because there's no lying here. This is exactly how they yeah. feel. They express yeah. themselves uninhibited. Right. Now, say something about, um, tell us about the excitement surrounding America's newest national park being right next to this great museum. Actually, the museum is within the footprint. There's 35 acres that were set aside, and we're park number 397. It's just a little over 401 national parks. And they're just coming towards the end. I think it's this summer, and hopefully they should have the final draft for the general management plan. Oh. And that's the document that's going to outlay the next 10 to 15 years of the true development of the park. Oh, wow. So it's a real exciting time. People are coming from Brooklyn. Well, like, because remember, nobody ever wanted to cross the Hudson. I had a, I had a group of... Uh, I guess 20-somethings were here last week. Mm -hmm. A whole little group of artists colony from Brooklyn came by to see the museum, yeah. and because it's a national park. Right. A lot of interest. I have somebody who just called me yesterday, now we're not gonna be open on Good Friday, mm -hmm. but they're coming to get their stamp. We also have the official stamp, but uh, uh, part of being part of the uh, national park, right. they have a passport series. So every national park you go has a unique stamp so that indicates that you're in here. And we have one right here, so you can get your passport stamp that wow. you. Patterson Great Falls National Well, Historic this park. museum is American history, period. I mean, if you come to the museum and you see everything that's in here, and, and, and like uh, uh, Mr. DiStefano said, the National Park is a big, exciting future in the near, in the near future for this park, and, and they're going to develop it like the other national parks. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's the newest national park, and, and it's, I think it's the second largest waterfall in North America? It's the second largest waterfall on the East Coast based on total volume. Okay. About a billion gallons of water could flow over it. Okay, so it's second to Niagara. Niagara. Which, of course, if you've seen say, Niagara, it's not that big. But if you try to go to any other city, yeah. where are you going to find it in the middle of a heavily industrialized area? This natural beauty yeah. that we have right up the street. Well, I would suggest you don't drink a lot of uh, liquids when you come and view any, any of these large <laughs> waterfalls, because I know I know beer goes right through me, so does tea. Anyway, uh, it's, ex it's just so exciting because historic Patterson is the way it sounds. It's, it's very historic. I mean, Dolphin Mills, where they have the, uh, the art walk, which is coming in June. June 14th and 15th. Yes. Set your flag to it. I mean, that building is 
it, 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 it is uh, circa what is it? 1880s. Late 1880s it was built. It, the whole building, the whole complex is a historic. We're, we're history inside of history. We're in the former assembly shop of the Rogers Locomotive Works. Oh wow. The only real irony here is that we are here when Jacob Rogers died, mm -hmm. the owner of the uh, of the building is really father's son owned the the, uh, the locomotive works. When he died, he left all his money in 1901 to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, becoming their first major benefactor. Wow! He left them a gift today would be equivalent to about 170 million dollars, which still exists today. So next time you go to the Met, not that we're <laughs> we're about a room and it would be inside of the Met, but. You can't go in any gallery, you won't find Rogers Fund, Rogers Fund, Rogers Fund. That was right here where that money came from. That was from. right here. And that was Patterson's great gift to the world. Wow. But, but there's definitely events uh, that now that spring is here and the weather's warming up, we're, we're definitely going to have uh, events in Historic Patterson. And I, I urge you to visit Historic Patterson, particularly the museum that we're in now and the falls. Uh, it's really relatively easy to get to via um, uh, uh, Interstate Route 80. 80, 46, yeah. 20, I mean, we're right here. We're right here. I mean, you know, it's minutes from, from uh, the major highways and... Uh, Only 15 miles from New York, so... There you go, and, and the, the Art Walk is big. There's all this fantastic talent there. There's, there's music. Uh, in general, Historic Patterson will have many exciting events, and it, I think it'll, it will increase every oh, year. Oh, it's snowballing. It's, 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 it's generating yeah. interest, and it's just continued to grow. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're in a good position yeah. right now. Yeah. Once the Great Falls is complete in its development from the federal government, then the tourism will really start peaking. It's starting already. They don't, uh, the next thing you're going to see for physical changes, we're starting at the visitor center we have up the street, which is also under the museum's management. Right. We're, we're just beginning the renovations now to open up that space. We're going to change its color, so you're going to start seeing a little bit more of the National Park being echoed throughout the district. Okay. So it's starting. Yeah. Well, this year, at, at the art, not at the art walk, during the art walk, um, here at the museum, facing Spruce Street, you're going to see Patterson's own performing artist, Mr. Ken Create, uh, classical violinist Ben Zabel, and myself uh, performing, doing street performance to promote the museum uh, facing Spruce Street. So, you know, come to the museum, come to the art walk, see us, uh, even. Come say hello to me. Say hello to John. <laughs> you, you'll be here, brother. Uh, I'll be here for the art walk, and I'll be glad to show anybody around. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. Giacomo Di Stefano, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Same here. Bye bye, folks.